Hello everybody, good morning and namaste. You are most welcome to your online class of physical education. Today we will continue our same topic on volleyball. In the last lecture, we try to make you clear that how you have to make volleyball court with its attachments. And today, again, we are going to continue the same. What are the requirements for a volleyball court? So, first of all, again, we will describe the play field in brief. First of all, play field, playground, proper playground should be there. So, what about its dimension we are going to clear? Our playground. Its dimension is nine meter by eighteen meter. Nine meter is its width and eighteen meter is its length. So first of all, we have to write dimension of the court. It is 9 by 18 meter. So means length of the court is 18 meter and width of the court is 9 meter. In the exam, you have to explain it like this. So, this is your simple play field. Now, there is one center line. What is this? This line is called in this Middle is called center line. What is the meaning of center line? For what? This line is here. It divides the court into two parts. Center line. It is in the mid and divide the court in two parts. So here is one center line. This is a play field. After that, nowadays, all the players play the game rotation wise. If players are playing games fixed, then this court is sufficient. But if players are interested to play rotation wise, then these two lines must be there. These two lines are called attack line. attack line. For what these two lines are mentioned here? Attack line. Its distance is 3 meter. It 
it is 3 meter away from the center line. When we play the game rotation wise, then these two lines play an important role. With the help of this, only we can play rotational game. So, this line is attack line. It is 3 meter away from the from the center line. And these two lines helps in rotation. Also help in players rotate. So code is 9 by 18. It is center line dividing the code into two parts and here is two attack lines. So what is the meaning of attack line? It help when we play rotation wise and this line is called end line. This line is called end line and this line is called side line. This line is called side line and this line is called end line. So this is the play field. Now what is the next requirement? for volleyball. Poles. There are two poles. There are two poles. And what is the height of the poles? Height of the pole is 2.55 meter. So, like this, there are two poles in the court. And these two poles distance in between two is 11 meter. Total distance of the pole are Eleven meter. Our play field is it is our play field. And but poles are one meter away from both of the sides. These two poles will be fixed away from the play field, one meter. It will be one meter away from both of the sides. Why these two poles are away from the field? To avoid the injuries. So total distance of the poles are 11 meter because play field is 9 meter width wise and pole will be situated here 
it will be fixed one meter away. Here is, here are two poles, and they are one meter away from both of the side. Now, next requirement is what net. Net. Without it, we are not able to play this game. So, net is necessary if we want to play volleyball. So, what are the dimension of net? Here is two poles. And it is net. It is net. So, what is the length of the net? Length of the net is nine point five meter. It is 9.5 meter. It is length. And what is the width? Width of the net is it is 1 meter. Width of the net. One meter. And what is the dimension of mesh? This is called mesh. Dimension of one mesh. It is ten centimeter square. Ten centimeter square. So this is a net. Now next requirement is what? There is two antennas. There are two antennas. Where are it? This is a pole. These are two poles. And here is net. And Here is two antennas fixed in the net. These antennas are of fiber. And what is the dimension of these two antennas? Height of the Height of the antennas are 1.80 meter. And what is the importance of these two antennas during the game? These two antennas is there to tell the direction of the ball. To confirm the direction of the ball. Both
ball is coming from inside or outside these two antennas tell us if ball touch the antenna then it means it is foul next requirement is ball ball again without ball we cannot play volleyball so ball must be spherical shape ball must be spherical shape and what is the weight of weight of ball is 262 280 gram this is our ball it is spherical shape round shape must be there and weight of the ball is 262 280 g and now what is the circumference circumference 65 to 67 cm its circumference is 65 to 67 cm now air pressure how much air should be in the ball what is the pressure it is 0.3002 325 kg per centimeter square so this is the air pressure so these are the requirements to play volleyball without these requirements completed it is not possible to play this game so our today's topic on play field of volleyball is completed so today we will over this lecture and in our next lecture again we will discuss about volleyball more so for today have a nice day and thank you